Um, we're talking about the Omega Family Global. It is partnering with San Diego Nice Guys. You know that charity here uh, very well here on uh, KUSI. Help single moms um, and help women here in the community become surrogates. So let's talk about this program. The Omega Family Global, Dr. Kyle Kramer is here, Tracy Armato, and Frederick Gaston. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, morning. so let's talk about this particular um, organization. I had no idea that San Diego in particular, and with the help of Omega, of course, is a surrogate kind of hub. Sure is. Why? Right. How does? How is that? It's fascinating. It's really, really interesting. So globally, the entire planet, there's only three jurisdictions where commercial surrogacy is explicitly legal. It's California, Nevada, and Illinois. That's mm -hmm. an entire globe. Uh, in California, we have close to 40 million people. Nevada, in comparison, has only five. Right. Uh, so we have the numbers. Also, in Southern California, two include maybe the Bay Area we have the best doctors the best facilities and so on and plus we have a culture here that's fairly progressive and uh, understands the process mm -hmm. so if you are an intended parent looking for surrogacy anywhere in the globe you're probably looking at San Diego isn't that amazing and mm -hmm. now Dr. Kramer how do the nice guys fit into Omega how does that work well Frederick and myself are members of the nice guys and we know about the concept of giving a hand up um, and in our surrogacy agency, we screen a lot of people. Our acceptance rate's about 2% mm -hmm. of women. And we have seen a lot of women who, for example, couldn't be a surrogate just because their car wasn't functional enough and they, didn't, they weren't able to have the opportunity just due to their economic status. Mm -hmm. And again, in screening so many, we see so much of this. And as an organization, we like to give some to charity. So it became appropriate that maybe this would be a good place. A good partnership. Right. All right. So, Tracy, I want to talk to you about the idea of the surrogacy through Omega. Mm -hmm. You, in fact, were a surrogate yourself. I have. I've been a surrogate for four different families. Mm -hmm. um, and I now use my own experience and knowledge in the industry um, to help our surrogates to understand and um, what goes into being a surrogate mm -hmm. and um, what's expected responsibility wise and and help with the support of our surrogates throughout the term of their pregnancy as well as delivery do you ha uh, this is for any of you do you have enough surrogates no, no. <laughs> okay, there's don't never no. enough surrogates so <laughs> what do you need to do or if somebody's watching right now it, what would they need to do if they're thinking well maybe I could I'm the right age maybe I could be a surrogate call mm -hmm. Dr. Craig yeah, that's right. <laughs> Literally, you want me to give our website or something? Yeah, no, I Please. want you to tell me some of the criteria. What are you looking for in a surrogate? Um, we're looking generally for women who have already had an uncomplicated full-term pregnancy between the ages of 24 and 36. Uh, they need to have reliable transportation, as I mentioned, to get to their to get their appointments. They need to have a good supporting social structure at home. Mm -hmm. For example, if they have little ones, somebody that can help take care of their children while they're gone. And then after that, we have our medical criteria, our psychological criteria. We do a background check on them. And um, that's kind of Big general. Hearts. Big, Big hearts. hearts. Yeah. yeah, we, we yeah. look for altruism, really. It's because More so than it's really financial motivation. It's important that you be a giver. Um, right. You cannot do this and be selfish under any circumstances. Right. It doesn't work. Um, so we are looking for women who enjoy being pregnant and are wanting to help a family or a couple that can't otherwise have a baby without their help. And Frederick, this just partnership with Omega and the Nice Guys just kind of really goes together I based think it on who you deal with. Yeah, I think it really dovetails well. I mean, uh, the Nice Guys you're familiar with, sure. I mean, arguably one of the best 501 C3s in town, yeah. and they their mission is a hand up uh, and not a hand out, and so many women, I mean all of our women are just, I mean mind-blowingly amazing, and some of them that can't fit in our program, it's only because of money, uh, and we don't want them to be working as a surrogate only for money, right. and so we were looking for some place that would be able to give them a hand up, and here is this organization, that's their mission statement, and so the idea is there's a resource then for these women that don't fit into our program now, but maybe in a couple of years once they get their stuff together. They definitely will. Right. Well, I want to thank all of you for your time this morning. Thank you so much for coming thank in. You we'll for put all us. of the information of uh, about Omega Family Global on our website, KOSI.com, if you perhaps are thinking maybe you could be a surrogate. Thank you all for your time. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Good Morning San Diego after this. Oh,